हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष राय फ्रॉम आई सी आर इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वेजिटेबल रिसर्च टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए वैक्टर्स एम थर्टीन एफ टी एंड एफ वन ईस्ट आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोसोम्स बैक्टीरियल आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोसोम्स पी वन डिराइव आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोसोम्स एंड बाइनरी बैक्टीरियल आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोसोम्स अंडर द पीपल जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिकॉम्बिनेट डेने टेक्नोलॉजी After completing this module, you should be able to understand single DNA vectors like M13, FD, and F1, yeast artificial chromosomes, bacterial artificial chromosomes, and binary bacterial artificial chromosomes, and P1 derived artificial chromosomes. Phagmid vectors. Phagmid vectors are plasmids having a small segment of filamentous phage M13, FD. or f1 phage these are capable to carry up to 10 kb of passenger dna examples are p embl series of plasmid vectors and p blue script family plasmid vectors the m13 origin of replication or allows the packaging of plasmid into a m13 phage when the bacteria when the bacteria is also infected with m13 helper phages phagmid generally encode no or one kind of coat proteins other structural and functional proteins necessary to accomplish the life cycle phagmids are encoded by helper uh, life cycle of phagmids are encoded by helper phage and generally transcribed by host replication in m13 bacteriophage in m13 bacteriophage dna is replicated by a rolling circle mechanism in this mechanism one strand is nicked and the free 3 prime oh is extended by dna polymerase the 3 prime end on the circle is extended while the growing point rolls around the circle template the five prime end is displaced and forms a tail of single stranded dna the single stranded tail is converted into double stranded dna by synthesis involving rna primers in present table we can see different types of cloning vectors having their compatible host insert size origin of replication and their form of dna here you can see m13 vectors which have e coli host and these can accommodate 1 to 4 kb dna these are transducted these have f1 origin of replication and they are in circular form present in host cell likewise lambda phage p1 derived artificial chromosomes bacterial artificial chromosomes and yeast artificial chromosomes the different features you can see in the table the members of the ff class of bacteriophage that is m13 fd and f1 have been used extensively as vectors for recombinant dna cloning these filamentous male specific coli phages have two important features that aid in their use as cloning vectors they do not lyse their host and they allow packaging dna that is longer than phage unit length however perhaps the most significant advantage of this group of phages is that they replicate in double stranded super coiled dna but package only circular single stranded molecule consequently single stranded dna can be prepared quickly and in sufficient purity directly from phage particles therefore these vectors are particularly well studied for rapid sequence analysis by sanger deoxy chain termination method and have been used extensively in oligonucleotide direct mutagenesis ft bacteriophages these infect only negative bacteria 
bearing F episome. These are filamentous bacteriophage. FD is type of filamentous bacteriophage known to infect coli. It shares many structural and genomic similarities with Enterobacter phage M13. Phage FD engineered to display immunogenic peptides may be useful as vaccines. F1 bacteriophages. Bacteriophage F1 is structurally classified as a class 1 filamentous phage and is used related to the other FF phages such as M13 and FD. F1 is a filamentous rod shaped single standard DNA phage with a molecular mass of about 1.6 into 110 Daltons. By weight, it is 11.3% DNA. The thousands of identical major coat proteins that make up the sheath and arrange in a fiscal like alpha helix. The ends of filament are sealed with protein caps. The blunt end contains 3 to 5 copies of each 7 and 9th class of proteins, while the terminally extruded bead like ends contain about 5 copies of each 3 and 6. F1 has a circular 6. 1407 base pair genome of single standard DNA. There are 11 genes encoded on the genome. Two are overlapping in frame genes. Five of the encoded proteins make up the viron. Three are needed for the synthesis and the rest are for assembly. The genes are generally referred by Roman numerals first Eleventh and are in order second X five seven nine eight three sixth one and eleven and fourth intergenic regions that are IG or IGR regions. The IGR contains the packaging signals that are PS as well as sequences that dictate termination, nicking for replication and the binding of second and IF, IHF in F1 phages. F1 is mainly specific. It only infects HFR or HF plus strains of E. coli. Bacteriophage M13 phage is filamentous phage that infects E. coli via F. pilus. The genome is a single standard circular DNA of size approx 6.4 kb surrounded by a proteinaceous coat called capsid. The DNA strand present in phage is called plus strand. After entering E. coli host, it converts into double standard DNA molecule called replicative form that is RF by utilizing bacterial machinery. M13 phases are used as cloning vector can be contained in both single standard as well as double standard form. Replicative form double standard vectors are modified and replicated inside E. coli hosts similar to the plasmid vectors. Single standard vectors can be isolated by collecting M13 phages for sequencing. High cloning capacity vectors. High cloning capacity vectors are generally used for construction of genomic libraries. These are cosmids, bacterial artificial chromosomes, P1 derived chromosomes, and yeast artificial chromosomes. They are designed to handle longer DNA inserts, much larger than the DNA uh, than the lambda replacement vectors. So, they require lower number of recombinants to be screened for identification of a particular gene of interest. Artificial chromosomes are DNA molecules assembled in vitro from defined constituents uh, that can function 
like natural chromosomes. Types of uh, artificial chromosomes, when we discuss about types, then first comes P1 derived artificial chromosomes, then bacterial artificial chromosomes, binary bacterial artificial chromosomes, yeast artificial chromosomes, human artificial chromosomes, and nowadays mammalian artificial chromosomes. So, before uh, talking about P1 derived artificial chromosomes, we should have a look on bacteriophage P1. The bacteriophage P1 is a template phase that infects E. coli. In its lysogenic cycle, the P1 genome remains as a plasmid in bacterium. One of its important features is that it hijacks the host machinery and integrates it into host genome. The Viron P1 has isohed isohedral head and a tail with six fibrils, fibers which help it to anchor the host cell wall. The P1 phage have a complete, uh, comparatively large genome, approx 93 kilobase, as a linear double standard DNA molecule. After insertion into the host, it circularized and replicates as plasmid. The P1 has two ORIs, origin of replication, that are ORI R responsible for lysogenic cycle, whereas a ORI L replicates it during lytic cycle. It can carry a foreign DNA up to 100 kilobase pair and it is able to replicate into the host cytoplasm. M13 phases or M13 based bacteriophages replicates in a rolling circle DNA replication mechanism. The rolling circle DNA replication is initiated by an initiator protein encoded by the bacteriophage DNA. This nicks one strand of double stranded circular DNA molecule at a site called double strand origin or DSO. The initiator protein remains bound to 5 prime phosphate end of the nick stand and the 3 prime hydroxyl stand end is released to serve as primer for DNA synthesis by DNA polymerase 3. Using the unnicked stand as a template, replication proceeds around the circular DNA molecule, displacing the nicked stand as a single standard DNA. The displacement of nicked strand is carried out by a host encoded helicase in the presence of replication initiation protein. Continued DNA synthesis can produce multiple single standard linear copies of original DNA in continuous head to tail series called concatamers. These linear copies can be converted to double standard circular molecules through the following process. First, initiator protein makes another nick to terminate synthesis of the first leading strand. RNA polymerase and DNA polymerase 3 then replicate the single standard origin that is SSO DNA to another double standard circle. DNA polymerase 3 removes the primer replacing it with DNA and the DNA ligase joins the ends to make another molecule of double standard circular DNA. By this way, phosmid has certain advantages. Their carrying capacity of phosmid is higher than phosbactus. Phosmid has higher efficiency in transformation than phosbactus and phosmids are genetically more stable than recombinant phosbactus. Phosmids can be exploited to generate single standard DNA templates for sequencing purposes. Single standard phosmid vectors inside the phage can target it for site directed mutagenesis also. These single standard vectors can be used to generate hybridization probes for mRNA or cDNA. One of the first hybrid phosmid vector was PEMBL constructed in 1983. They are characterized by the presence of a BLA gene 
as selectable marker for ampicillin resistance. A short segment coding for alpha peptide of beta galactosidase lactate and containing an MCS that is multiple cloning site. Third, the intergenic region Ig region of PAS1 for replication of origin. These vectors have been used successfully for DNA sequencing with the dideoxy method and can be used for other purposes for which M13 derivatives are used. However, the PEMBL plasmids have the advantages of being smaller than M13 vectors and the purification of DNA is simple. In addition, long inserts have a higher stability in PEMBL plasmids than M13 vectors. Within the bacteriophage, such as M13, the replication process is complex. Complex. It is in phage DNA molecule generally carry several genes essential for replication, including genes for components, phage coat proteins, and phage specific DNA replicative enzymes. Alteration in any of these genes will impair or destroy the replicative ability. So, there is less freedom to modify phage DNA molecules. For the in vitro packaging of phage particles, phage mid vectors like PMBL8 is used a helper phage. Here in figure, you can see the whole scheme of replication in phage mid vectors and how new virons are created. The PMBL8 was made by transferring 1300 base pair fragment of M13 into PUC8 vectors. This piece of M13 in PMBL8 contains single sequence recognized by enzyme that converts the normal double standard M13 molecule into single standard DNA before secretion, secretion of new phage particles. The single sequence it still remains functional even though detached from rest of M13 genome. When a normal M13 is used as helper phage, this provides necessary replicative enzymes and phage coat proteins. Bacteria artificial chromosome uh, are designed for cloning of a large DNA insert, typically approx 100 to 30, uh, 100 to 300 kilobase in E. coli host. Bacteria vectors contain a single copy of F plasmid origin for, repli uh, origin for replication or ORI. The F fertility plasmid is relatively large and vectors derived from it have a higher uh, capacity than normal plasmid vectors. F plasmids have fertility factor which controls the replication and maintains a low copy number. Also conjugation can take place between F plus bacteria that is male and F minus bacteria that is female to transfer the F plasmid via pilus. P1 derived artificial chromosomes are constructed by combining the best features of P1 bacteriophage vectors and BAC that is bacteria artificial chromosomes. No chimeras or instability is associated with this vector and it is used for genomic mapping. It is introduced by electroporation and the carrying capacity of P1 derived artificial chromosomes is about 60 kilobase pairs to 150 kilobase pairs. Thus, these are E. coli based vectors, are low copy number, stable for maintenance of foreign DNA and capable of having 150 kilobase pair of foreign DNA. Bacterial artificial chromosomes that is BAC. It was developed to prepare a larger insert clone library of genome sequencing project and was first used in human genome project. The cloning capacity of BAC vector is up to 300 kilobase pair. It gained popularity in genome sequencing project due to its high cloning capacity. It is maintained as a single copy plasmid 
it is characterized by stable maintenance even after more than 100 generations. Its origin of replication is F plasmid. It has three genes of partitioning such as RA, RB, and RC. The host bacteria should be deficient in homologous recombination and it should be REC A. The size of back vector, that is bacterial artificial chromosome vector, is between 7.4 kilobase pair. After ligating with the foreign DNA, recombinant bacterial artificial chromosome is introduced into E. coli by electroporation. In figure, you can see different parts which are necessary for a bacterial artificial chromosomes. These segments are par C, par B, par A, rep E, ampicillin resistant gene, lox P as selectable marker, multiple cloning sites, and cause and reason. Yeast artificial chromosomes. First, it was described in 1983 by Murray and Jostak. A yeast artificial chromosome has sequence to exist inside E. coli as a circular plasmid and contains a sequence to maintain it as linear nuclear chromosome in yeast. The number of clones in genomic libraries can be greatly reduced with the use of yeast artificial chromosomes. Yeast artificial chromosome have following elements. First, it has a E. coli origin of replication. It has yeast origin of replication. It has elements of eukaryote yeast chromosomes. That is, first centromere and telomeric region. The selector uh, selection markers for both the host bacteria as well as yeast. Yeast artificial chromosomes can be maintained as a linear DNA chromosome. It can be introduced into the yeast cell by electroporation. Yeast is a vector used to clone DNA fragment larger than 100 kb up to 3000 kb. Yeast artificial chromosomes are also useful for physical mapping of complex genomes and for cloning of large DNA fragments. If we talk about yeast artificial chromosome, uh, the, it contains the centromere region and telomere region and an autonomous origin of replication that is ARS. This is uh, responsible for replication in yeast. This element which are required for replication and conservation of yeast artificial chromosome in yeast. ARS elements are thought to be act as replication of origin. A yeast artificial chromosome is built using an initial circular plasmid which is typically broken into two linear molecules using restriction enzyme. Then the DNA ligase is used to ligate a sequence or gene of interest between two, these two linear molecules forming a simple larger linear piece of DNA. The TRP1 and URA3 genes are introduced, uh, included in yeast artificial, uh, yeast artificial chromosome vector to provide a selection system for identifying transformed yeast cells that introduced into yeast artificial chromosome by complementing recessive allele TRP1 and URA3 in yeast host cell. Bacterial artificial chromosomes are bacterial cloning vectors derived from F plasmid that can accommodate up to 350 kilobase pair, mostly commonly 120 to 150 kilobase pair of DNA sequence. This has a considerably lower error rate than the still larger capacity yeast artificial chromosomes. Bacterial artificial chromosomes are usually exist in single copy per cell. Random bacterial artificial chromosomes are selected at random from genetic genomic library and are then shotgun sequenced. Most bacterial artificial chromosome vectors lack 
selectable marker suitable for mammalian cell selection but can be retrofied by employing the CRE or LOXP sites for a specific recombination system. Another class of bacterial artificial chromosomes are binary bacterial artificial chromosomes. The development of binary art bacterial artificial chromosome system should greatly reduce the time and effort involved in the gene verification step and allow for rapid introduction of valuable agronomic traits into unrelated plant species. The binary bacterial artificial chromosomes may make it possible to express a series of genes or entire biochemical pathway from any organism in plant system. These are potentially produced for pharmaceuticals or for novel materials in plants. The binary bacterial artificial chromosomes by back vectors combine two technologies. First is bacterial artificial chromosome and the binary vector strategy for agrobacterium mediated plant, tran plant transformation. The binary bacterial artificial chromosome vector is suitable for bacterial host E. coli and agrobacterium tumefaciens and is capable of maintaining at least 150 kilobase pair of foreign eukaryotic DNA into E. coli and uh, also in agrobacterium tumefaciens. Binary bacterial artificial chromosomes has a unique BAM H cloning site and is suitable for construction of genomic DNA libraries. In addition, these are two pairs of restriction sites, NOT1 and SFI1 that flank by BAM H1 site. The virulent helper plasmid that were designed to be used in conjugation with binary bacterial artificial chromosome vector to enhance the transfer of high molecular weight DNA into the plants. So in this module, we have learned about single standard bacteriophages that are FF, FD and F1 and M13 vectors, phasmid vectors, replication in these vectors and high cloning capacity vectors like bacterial artificial chromosome, binary bacterial artificial chromosomes and P1 derived artificial chromosomes. Thank you.